Breaking news, the suspect in the shooting death of musician Nipsey Hussle has been captured in Bellflower, California. The Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department can confirm that 29-year-old Eric Holder was caught by deputies Tuesday afternoon at around 1.30 p.m. And as Denny mentioned in Bellflower, which to give you a little perspective, is about 45 minutes outside of Nipsey's mm -hmm. clothing store, The Marathon. Right. Well, joining us now for more from our ET News Desk is Steve Will. Steve, um, you know, this morning, uh, the L.A. police chief, Michael Moore, held a press conference mm -hmm. for reporters, and he named Eric Holder as one of the suspects. Uh, and he was even he went even went as far as to say that he was confident that the suspect, that Mr. Holder, was watching that press conference and pleaded with him to surrender. Obviously, he's been caught now. What can you tell us about the latest? Yeah, well, as you said, uh, we can confirm now that Eric Holder was apprehended down at Bellflower. Uh, CBS was reporting that he was apprehended down uh, around 1.30 uh, at the 9900 block of Artesia Boulevard, um, which you said is in Bellflower, about 45 minutes or so from here. Um, and as of right now, we're still calling the Sheriff's Department to get more information on our own independently. Um, but the good news is that Eric Holder is in custody. And Steve, this morning in the press conference held by Chief Michael Moore, uh, we learned a lot of details that we did not know before about the events that happened that took place on Sunday night outside of the Marathon Clothing Store. Can you kind of walk us through those details that uh, the L.A. Police Chief Michael Moore uh, provided? Yeah, so uh, during that press conference this morning, Mike, uh, Chief Moore had mentioned that uh, Mr. Holder approached uh, Nipsey numerous times and engaged in conversation with him and that others were there as well. He left and subsequently came back armed with a handgun and purposely and repeatedly fired, striking and killing Nipsey Hussle. Now, as we, uh, you recall that Nipsey was struck uh, around six times, it was reported six times, but the two fatal shots the coroner said were uh, in the head and the torso. Um, but uh, Chief Moore also said that Holder had been engaged in some kind of dispute with uh, with Hustle, but didn't really go into the details as this is still kind of an ongoing investigation. They're still trying to gather as much information as they can. And I'm sure more details will be coming out now that uh, Eric Holder is in custody. Right. Uh, the police chief did mention that, and he was adamant about this, he believed the shooting was not gang related. Mm -hmm. And based on witness testimonies and other um, accounts, he had a strong reason to believe that it was a personal dispute, as you just said, but yeah. didn't go into details about it. Right. He just said, uh, it, I think it was a, a personal thing between Nipsey and Eric Holder. Um, obviously, Steve, something that we've uh, learned the more we've talked about Nipsey and his legacy is how much he gave back to the community. Mm -hmm. He's a, a, a He was a, an artist and also just a citizen and proud citizen of LA in particular and did a lot to uh, give back to his community and I think I believe we also learned that he was working with the police department to combat gang violence mm -hmm. um, can you remind us what and this is something that was addressed in the press conference can you remind us what is the future of, of that and what will transpire based on that conversation that never happened yeah, I mean, as you said, uh, Nipsey was really a, kind of a staple in the uh, South Los Angeles community and was engaging with the uh, LAPD as far as, you know, trying to get out there and uh, figure out how they can kind of curb the violence down in that area. Um, they did talk about this uh, in the press conference this morning with the police commissioner wearing a tie that he was hoping to wear during the meeting that never unfortunately happened. Uh, with the save the Child, it was um, a tie with a bunch of children on there. Was, he called it a save the children tie. Um, but all the reports are out that they still want to continue this conversation uh, with Rock Nation and Nipsey's family now to, um, to you know, to keep his dreams about his community uh, moving forward. And we saw last night, I mean, how much he is loved and mm. uh, cherished by his community. Thousands of people showed up at the vigil um, outside the Marathon Clothing Store last night. ET Live was there. Mm -hmm. um, Steve, I have another question um, regarding the details that we learned from the press conference this morning. You know, Police Chief Michael Moore, he had said that they were able to identify Eric Holder from surveillance camera footage. And he was last seen getting into this white Chevy Cruiser with an unidentified female. Do we know anything about this woman? As of right now, we can't indep independently confirm anything about the woman um, that was uh, in the car, allegedly with uh, Eric Holder. But, you know, we're working on trying to get all these details mm -hmm. um, as this information comes out, because all this is just kind of breaking right now in front of us with his 
with his arrest. So as soon as we get those details, um, we can get back to you on that one. But we're working on confirming that ourselves as well. That's right. And if you're just joining us, Eric Holder, the man suspected of killing Nipsey Hussle in a triple shooting Sunday, uh, has been arrested and is in police custody, according to LAPD. And Steve from our ET News Desk, thank you so much for being with us. Thanks, guys.